Welcome to the NARCS Care Tutorial Series, presented by the Virginia Department of Health Professions. This five-part series will provide you with all the information you need to access, use, and generate reports from the NARCS Care online system that interfaces with the state's Prescription Monitoring Program, or PMP. The PMP is a powerful tool designed to assist Virginia's healthcare practitioners to make informed treatment and dispensing decisions. The goal is to prevent the misuse and abuse of controlled substances, including opioids that are contributing to the drug crisis in our communities. The NarxCare online system is the portal through which prescribers and pharmacists access the PMP program to ensure the appropriate use of controlled substances for legitimate medical purposes. The PMP program collects, monitors, analyzes and tracks dispensing data for Schedule 2 through 4 and Schedule 5 prescription drugs, drugs of concern such as gabapentin and naloxone. As prescribers and dispensers, you have the capability to request patient data and generate reports using your NarxCare account. Your prescribing and dispensing decisions can be based on objective information about a patient's prescription history, which leads to improved patient safety. Let's get started. You are automatically enrolled in the PMP program by virtue of your Virginia license. However, you are responsible for activating your account. Once your account information is reviewed and verified, you will receive an email with your NarxCare username, your email address, and a temporary password. Use the email address and temporary password to access the NarxCare online system. Logging in will take you to the My Dashboard screen which will serve as your home page. When you first access your account, open the main menu and click on My Profile. Because you are enrolled by virtue of your license, it has already been populated, your licensure information. However, it is important to check and update all of the information, including your DEA and NPI numbers, license type, specialty, subspecialty if you have one, work address, and phone number. Select your healthcare specialty using the drop down menu in the middle of the page. This is an important step as it allows you to compare your prescribing habits with your peers. An additional option allows you to change your email address to one that is unique to you. Once you have made the changes, click Save Changes. Now, let's go back to the User Profile menu and this time select Default PMP I States. The little i stands for interconnect. Virginia is interconnected, or in other words, interoperable with all of our border states, as well as many others. This screen is used only to select your default settings with respect to PMP data collected from other states. If you tend to have patients from bordering states, you can select those states by checking the adjacent box. Remember though, the more states that are queried, the longer the report may take to be processed. Check only the states that will inform your decision making. Save your changes. You will need to next change your password from the temporary one used to first access your account. Click on the drop down menu located at the top right hand corner of the screen and select password reset. This takes you to the change password screen. Enter the password that was initially provided in the PMP access email and then create a new password. Once you have entered and confirmed the new password, click Change to have it accepted by the system. Go back up to the menu on the top right-hand corner of the screen and log out. Once you've logged out, enter your username and your new password to re-enter the system. The password reset screen can be accessed either via the menu located at the top right-hand corner of every screen or by going to the main menu located in the top left-hand corner of every screen. Like other online systems, it is recommended that you log off when not accessing the system, and then log back in when you are using it. If at any time you suspect that your login has been compromised, you can reset your password by returning to the password reset screen. To review, this episode of the NARCS Care Tutorial presented a brief overview of Virginia's PMP system an explanation of how your user profile is developed, how to receive information from other state PMPs, how to create a new password, logging on and off, 
and resetting or updating your password when necessary. If you have additional questions, contact Virginia's PMP at this email address. For technical support from APRIS, please call this number.
presented by the why can't I say this? Presented by the Virginia Department of Health Professions. And sometimes you, if you go presented by, 